In this video, I'm going to explain the basic concept about list formula. Suppose this is the vessel and we look the vessel in transverse direction. That is, this is port side and this is starboard side. And this one is the water line. So, this is a G that is center of gravity and the weight force acts vertically downward this is the weight force acts vertically downward from center of gravity we can write capital W is equal to mg this is underwater volume so the geometrical center of underwater volume is B, which is a center of buoyancy, and a force of buoyancy. This one is the force of buoyancy, will act vertically upward from center of buoyancy. So we can write like this that this is force of buoyancy. Well, both the forces act vertically in vertical direction and they are opposite to each other. Now if I shift this weight W, that is a small W, in transverse direction like this. So this is a small weight and I shifted this weight with the with this distance, say horizontal distance T. So obviously the center of gravity will also shift in this direction proportionally, say somewhere here. So now force of gravity instead of acting from G will start acting from G1. We can say that shift in center of gravity can be given by this formula GG1 is equal to W into D divided by capital W where W is the small weight shifted D is the horizontal distance and capital W is the displacement of the ship. Now if you look carefully, there are two forces acting in opposite direction. One is in upward, that is uh, force of buoyancy and other one is displacement which is acting downward. So they form a couple and the moment of couple will try to incline the ship or try to list the ship. So the moment that is list moment is nothing but the weight multiplied by distance that is the list moment we can write that gg1 is list moment divided by capital w that's a very important relationship now as the weight is uh, shifted from g to g1 like this the underwater volume will also change although total underwater volume will remain same but if you see in this direction or that is on the upper side underwater volume is reduced and on the lower side underwater volume is increased although total underwater volume will remain same so the net result is the center of buoyancy which was acting here has shifted to new place and this force of buoyancy which was acting from B will start acting from B1. At some point the force of buoyancy is vertically below G1 and here the vessel stops inclining. Well we have a triangle and this point is called M which is the intersection of center line this is the center line and a new force of buoyancy which is acting from new center of buoyancy well we can say in triangle G G1 M this angle is theta and this is the angle of list well this list tan theta is nothing but G G1 by GM. 
However, we know it very well that GG1 is W into D divided by capital W into GM. Now, W into D is nothing but the list moment. Suppose this is W and this has been shifted here and this is the distance D. So, W into D is nothing but list moment. Uh, let me write LM divided by W into GM that is 10 theta now if the ship was if the ship was initially upright initially upright then theta will be 0 but if the ship was initially listed initially listed then we can find list moment and I call it ILM that is initial list moment is equal to W into GM into 10 theta well, well uh, this is a very important relationship the next is what is the final list suppose the final list is theta so we can write 10 theta is equal to F LM final list moment divided by W and let me modify a little bit WF which is final displacement because here it is shifted so the weight this weight is equal to uh, the final weight however in case of loading uh, final weight will change or discharging also final weight will change and GMF that is the final GM. That's a very important relationship and we'll be using it very frequently. Now quickly, uh, let me explain the application of this formula with the help of uh, simple numbers. Suppose displacement of the ship is given which is 10,000 ton. KM is given which is 8 meter kg is uh, 6 meter and ship is initially upright so theta is 0 that is initially upright now if a weight a small w say 100 ton is shifted transversely so horizontal distance 5 meter and it is shifted port to starboard what is the list caused so theta final is what theta initial is zero so obviously let's start with the formula and formula says 10 theta is equal to final list moment divided by weight final and gm final Now, initial list moment is given, ILM is 0, because vessel is upright. LMC, that is the list moment caused, is W into D, and that is the horizontal direction. So, uh, W is 100, and D is 5, so it is 500 meter towards the starboard because you are shifting towards the starboard so the final list moment final list moment is 500 ton meter towards the starboard final list moment is nothing but the algebraic sum of initial list moment and list moment cost or created now we have obtained this quantity Let's talk about final displacement. Final displacement is initial displacement because we of shifting. Because of shifting. So this is again 10,000 ton. Now we shift in horizontal direction. So kg is same. Kg is constant. Why? Because kg will change only when there is vertical shift and we shifted in horizontal direction that is port to starboard direction so kg is same 
and Km is also constant. Let's find the GM. Let's go up here. So Km and Kg remain same. So GM here is 2 meter. And this is also GM final. Now we obtain GM final also. Well, all we have to do is just put the values here. Maybe we can use this space to sort out the 10 theta finalist moment which is 500 divided by WF which is 10,000 into GM which is 2 meter. Now just sort it out this one this one all right use Kelsey so let me bring here so on the top it is 5 divided by this is 100 and this is 2 so this is 200 bracket close so we get 0 0.025 now, inverse of this is 1.432, 1.432 degree. And well, list will be towards the starboard side as the final list moment is also towards the starboard. We can round off to degrees in minute, I think from this uh, uh, 1 degree 25 minute 55.55 second, 1 degree 25 minute and 55.55 second. Let me just cross check. 1 degree 25 minute 55.55 second. So we can round off this and rounding off is very simple. This one you divide by 60 and round off. So this is 0.9 we can write 1 degree 25.9 minute and towards starboard. Your answer up to this degree is sufficient.